So welcome back everyone. We're now into the very final section of this training, the mock exam. So hopefully you will have had an opportunity already to do mock exam number one. And I'm just going to put that up on the screen here where I can see it with you. And we're going to go through these questions. If anybody has any issues with them, you can either turn on your microphone and call out, or you can type into the chat window. And I'm just going to go through these. You do have the answer rationales, which have actual quotes from the ITIL Foundation publication to justify the specific answers and explanations of why the wrong answers are wrong. So number one, how does categorization of incidents assist incident management? The correct answer is A, it helps direct the incident to the correct support area. And those of us who've worked in incident management must be familiar with this. So if you if you categorize it as a security incident, it goes one way. And if you categorize it as a, a laptop incident or a Windows server incident, it goes to a different team. The priority assigned to the incident will be largely based on the business impact rather than the category. Um, categorization doesn't ensure that anything's resolved. It might identify what the agreed time is going to be, but it certainly won't ensure that anybody does anything. And it only has a relatively minor impact on how the service provider is perceived. I mean, as part of the whole of incident management, really. Number two, which value chain activity creates service components? I think this one should have been very easy for you. The obtain build value chain activity is completely concerned with obtaining the components that you need to create and support services. Um, deliver and support is about operational activity. Engage is about communication and improve is about making improvements. Number three, what is the definition of warranty? Now, this is typical of the way these questions are usually put in ITIL exams. These four are all valid ITIL definitions of something. And when I look through them, I can see that one of them is a definition. A is the definition of an output. B is the definition of warranty. So the correct answer is B. C is a definition of risk, and D is the definition of utility. So these are all definitions that you should know, which should make the question relatively easy, because even if you've forgotten the definition of warranty, if you recognize the others, you'll know they're not the definition of warranty. Identify the missing word in the following sentence. The purpose of the information security management practice is to something the organization's information store, provide, audit, protect. Again, this is a Bloom's level one. Do you remember the definition? The purpose is to protect the organization's information, is D. Question number five, which two needs should change control balance? Is it the need to assess risks and expected benefits, the need to manage a change schedule, the need to make beneficial changes, or the need to protect customers and users. Now, this one's pretty tricky because those are all four things that change control does. It does assess risks and benefits. It does manage a change schedule. It does make beneficial changes, and it does protect customers and users. So then we need to look at the word balance. Which are the two that you balance against each other? Well, you always need to assess risks and benefits. You always need to manage a change schedule. But the other two need to be balanced. The need to protect customers and users need to be balanced against the need to make beneficial changes. So the correct answer is C, three and four. In the real ITIL exams, there are two types of question. One is the very straightforward A, B, C, D, where one is correct and three are incorrect. And the other is exactly this style. There will always be four options numbered one, two, three, four. And the four answer options will always be one and two, two and three, three and four, one and four. There are no other styles of questions. There will never be one with none of the above and all of the above. You'll never have to pick you know, three from four or one from four. It will always be exactly two and in that order. 
Thank you for attending this ITIL4 Foundation e-learning course, which is a preparation course for candidates taking the official Axelos ITIL4 Foundation exam, which is conducted by PeopleSearch. One World Training is an authorized training provider for all modules of ITIL4, Prince2, Prince2 Agile, PeopleSearch Scrum Master, PeopleSearch DevOps, and Service Desk Institute courses, including Service Desk Analyst V8 and Service Desk Manager V8, and many other courses. All courses offered by One World Training are available via e-learning and live online. For enrollment queries, you can contact info, I-N-F-O, at oneworldtraining.com, as you see on this slide. If you've got any questions about anything you have learned on this training course, then you can email One World Training using that same email address as shown on this slide. I hope that you have enjoyed this course and I'd like to wish you good luck in your ITIL4 Foundation exam. Thank you and goodbye.